これからみんなでめちゃくちゃ踊って騒ごう騒ごう。へえ、Hey there! This is Vince of VincePrep.com. The Harvard essay is out.、Uh, let's take a look at it. As we review your application, what more would you like us to know as we consider your candidacy for the Harvard Business School MBA program? So, consider your candidacy. What more do you want us to know? Another way to ask this question, I think the question behind the question here is my favorite interview question. I love if you work with me for interview training, be ready to answer this one. It's, it's the only question that matters, and it's why should I admit you? If you can't summarize to them why they should admit you at the interview with one, two, or three reasons,、um, I frankly don't think you belong there. The school is full of people who are super. Super confident.、Um, super confident people go there, and、so、you should be able to answer that question、um, without flinching for the interview. Now, for the essay, that's again, well, it's my favorite question. I think it's the only question that matters at the end of the day, and it's incredibly hard to answer. So, don't start with Harvard. Really simple. Instead, Many of my clients start with Columbia, and particularly they start with Columbia Essay 1 because the, the final essay can be up to 750 words. UCLA also last year had a, had a 750 word goals essay. That's really nice. Believe me, it's harder to write 750 good words than it is to write 500 good words, 400, 300, 200, 100, 50 good words about your future goals. So, Longer is easier, and when you do your first draft, the sky's the limit. I love my clients to write as, literally as much as they can. If, you, if you're not done explaining it to me, write more. I can handle it.、Um, you know, in some ways, I read for a living. So, anyway, ignore the word limit. Start with Columbia because you've got to be able to say why you need an MBA. For now, don't obsess about why Columbia. In writing, but do obsess about it in life. Have as many informational interviews with Columbia students and alumni as you possibly can. Have informational interviews and gather notes, but I don't need to see your notes yet. But if that's a research paper, and you need to, as my colleague Lee at Ago says, that's, you got to cite your sources. Just like, just like any research you've ever done, cite your sources. All right, after Columbia Essay 1, I think a lot of my clients, I encourage them. My order basically is Columbia, then Stanford, then Harvard. If you're applying to those three schools, if not, insert UCLA instead of Columbia, or any school that gives you Wharton for Columbia, or any school that gives you 500 words or more to express why you need this degree, you know, and why that school. But for now, I'm saying you're trying to apply to Harvard, maybe first, maybe. So don't worry about the Why Columbia? Harvard's deadline is first, in, unless you're applying to Columbia early round. Anyway, Stanford SA, what matters most to you and why? This question has not changed in the 15 years that I've been doing this work. This question is, is like an old friend. I'm glad to see this question every year. It's like my best friend is coming to town. I love this essay because, as I said in my other videos, you can't fake it. So, as they, as they say, as Derek and his team say, don't package yourself. The most impressive essays are the most authentic. I totally agree with that. We want to hear your genuine voice, right? Which is why you want to work with a consultant like those of us at Agos who leave it in your voice. That's why. Don't come to me and say, I'm passionate about Stanford and I want you, Vince, to edit it. Don't do that. I don't do that and I don't believe in that. And don't ask. It's insulting to them.、Um, And it's my school. You should know that. I care about that. Anyway, <laughs> and this is not about Stanford, this is about Harvard. So go through their list. This is from Derek. This is not me. Do some, and his team. Do some deep self examination. Share the insights. Write from the heart. Illustrate how a person, situation, or event has influenced you. So talk about a person, situation, or event. I think that is great advice. Because when you get to Harvard, why should we admit you? That person, maybe, or that situation, perhaps, or even most likely that event 
could be a central part of your Harvard essay. And finally, Stanford says, focus on the why rather than the what. But look, I'm not saying that maybe Harvard, maybe Harvard should admit you because of what matters most to you and why. In other words, maybe your Stanford story should be why Harvard would want to admit you once you nail it, once you really find that story that you need to tell. Um, sorry, I keep, I keep scratching my neck. I have a growth here and it's, it's, it's unpleasant. I'm sorry. I don't have the time or the budget um, to Photoshop that out. So anyway, I'm human, just like all of you. Anyway, our, here's the Harvard essay. Again, what more would you like us to know as we consider your candidacy? So consider your candidacy means why should we admit you? And hopefully by now, it's the last thing I'm going to say and I'm going to sign off. Hopefully by now, because you've written your goal to Columbia in as many words as you need, and you've explained to Stanford uh, the, you know, the person, situation, or event that helped you realize what matters most. Anyway, what matters most to you and why for Stanford? That is really a story, a, pers a personal story. So goals plus personal story, some combination of that is the answer to this question. But as they say, uh, no word limit. Very nice. Longest one I've ever read was 10 pages. Way, way, way too long. Let me just go on record as saying that. You gotta show good judgment, okay? Um, don't overthink, overcraft, or overwrite. True, overthink, overcraft, overwrite. That's why my strategy is not to make it ornate. You're not trying to turn in something that looks like Versailles. You're trying to turn in something that looks like Ando right? Japanese architect. Minimalistic. Scrap and build, scrap and build is my best strategy. Look, I'm giving, I'm giving away all my good stuff here, kids. This is my best stuff. So use this. Scrap and build is my method. It is on my website. Scrap and build, scrap and build. Don't put porcelain fixtures in the bathroom. Don't over decorate it. Don't make this sloppy, messy, pile of cake. I like strawberry and I like chocolate. I like vanilla and I like hazelnut. Don't feed them a mess. Scrap and build, scrap and build, pull it down. This is, I live in Japan, my client, one of my, I told this, I explained my, to my client, this was my method. This is my method, I came up with this, but I said this to him and he's like, oh, it's like making a Japanese sword. And I went, yeah, of course it is. I knew that, I've never made a Japanese sword. I'm living, I don't, I'm not a metal worker. I wish I were, hats off to those of you that can make a sword. He's like, yeah, you melt it down. You, you fire it and you hammer it. You fire it and you hammer it. You melt it and you form it. You melt it and you form it. That's why they're so strong. You were just beating out all the imperfections, all the bubble, uh, whatever. I don't know. I don't know about swords. So make your sword, but don't overcraft, overwrite it. Yeah, don't make a fancy sword with a bunch of ding-dongs and wing-wongs on it. Just make a simple, effective sword, if you will. Sorry, I'm a guy. It's a guy metaphor, but as my clients tell me, it's like making a sword or making a a building or a cake or whatever it is, right? Scrap and build. Okay, that's it for now. As always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe for the latest updates. If you subscribe, you will know when I've made a new video. Uh, I love making these videos. I hope you enjoy watching them. Thank you for your time and attention. Best of luck with your applications and bye for now.